we're going to be going through a very important lesson which is the for me this is the beginning of uh, book one Medina book one I say this is the the, the first and um, the most important lesson of Medina book one after the foundations have been laid and this is really now where the Arabic inshallah uh, kicks in but I'm going to give an introduction to what the, the lesson is about now the first thing that we're going to learn in today's class my brothers is what is known as Mudafun and I'm writing it in Arabic as well in the text box Mudafun wa Mudafun ilayhi Jayib Mudafun wa Mudafun ilayhi there it comes. Can you all see that? Mudafun wa mudafun ilayhi. This is the, the first and most important concept which is being taught in this lesson. Now, there are a number of other concepts being taught in this lesson as well. Amongst them is some new vocabulary. Namely, namely, Tahta. Everyone say Tahta. And Tahta, it behaves like a harful jar. It behaves like a harful jar in that it gives some direction and some meaning um, to, the, to the noun that comes after it. It always comes before a noun and it gives some directional meaning to the noun that comes after it and it actually means underneath ahsant above the rub below naam underneath or below jayid so tahta it, um, it behaves very similar to harful jar even though technically we don't call it harful jar but for the purpose of this for the purpose of this class we're going to refer it refer to it as harful jar because it does it behaves the same as harful jar. Jayid? If you just bear with me for a moment, I'm going to just pause there for a second. Harful, the harful jar, li, it means, it often means ownership, giving ownership to something or to somebody, belonging to somebody. Uh, no, no, there's a not, not li, which is lam ya. Let me type lam ya. Lam ya. Sorry. Lam ya. Li. Yes. Li means mine. But I'm just talking about now the first letter, li. Now li, this is harful jar. And it requires another noun to come after it in order to complete its meaning. Now... It means belonging to. Very often it means belonging to. If it means belonging to, then as you, as the example you gave, Mirza, it says you, when you said li, mine, then belonging to, and that, that ya refers to me, belonging to me, li. Okay. So if I said to you. And don't forget, this is harful jar. So if I said to you, or if I have one showed you this word here, Khalid, how would you read that? Go ahead. Khalidun. Khalidun. Ahsanta. Khalidun, because we study in the Dars al if I'm not mistaken, that if you put your 
if you uh, uh, sorry if you have names masculine names then those names are pronounced with two dhammas Hamidun, Khalidun, Muhammadun, Aliyun okay except in the case where there's Tabarbuta like for example Hudayfatu okay and in those cases you only pronounce one dhamma all of the female names however whether they have a Tamarbuta or not they only pronounce with one dhamma Fatima tu, Khadija tu, Zainabu. Okay. So far, so good, guys. You with me, Hudayfa? Okay. Yes. So Khalidun. Now, what happens when Harful Jar enters upon a noun? What happens to the Tanween? Just now, Hudayfa read this. Quite correctly, he said. Oh. As it turns, it turns into a kasra. Asanta Mirza. So, if you have one dhamma at the end of the word, like al baytu, harful jar before it changes it to one kasra. Fil bayti. So, what do you think will happen if you have two dhammas like Khalidun? What will it become? It will become two kasras. Ahsant Khalidin. Well done, Mirza. Well done, Hudayfa. Jai Khalidin. Tayyip. So therefore, I want you brothers to read this for me, knowing that Lam is Harful Jar. Knowing that Lam is Harful Jar. I want you to read this for me. So, uh, brothers, you read that by saying, imagining that there were uh, initially you had two, initially you had two dhammas, now those two dhammas turn to two kasras and it becomes one connection. Ahsanta Abu Abdul Rabb, li khalidin, li khalidin, as Hudayfa also read, li khalidin, everyone say, li khalidin, li khalidin, jayid. Okay, my brothers. So here we're discussing a new meaning today. And that is the meaning of possession. Here I'm going to write something for you now. Al Kitabu. You can see me writing it. You can't see me writing it. Al Kitabu li Khalid li Khalidin. Can you all see that? Al Kitabu li Khalidin. What do you brothers think that it means? Muhammad Sakib, the book belongs to Khalid. The book belongs to Khalid. Quite clear, quite clear, Barakallah people. Jayil. Al Kitabu li Khalidin. Because we said, we already discussed and we said that li, as a harful jar, means belonging to. We already said that if harful jar comes before a word, then it changes its uh, end points and vowel points to kasras. If you have one kasra on the original word, it takes one kasra at the end. If you have two kasras on the original word, it changes it to two kasras. So in this case, we have li khalidin. And then we made a sentence, we made some meaning, and we said al kitabu li khalidin. Al kitabu li khalidin. The, the book belongs to Khalid. Now, one way I like to explain this lesson to uh, to my students, one way I like to explain this lesson is in the following way. I'm going to try to write with my mouse. It's not going to be very clear, but it'll be something to, to visualize for everybody on the screen. Okay. Al Kitabu. Li Kha Okay, I think that's take it take the eraser and get move this part here so I can use it. Use this area. Hopefully they'll give me room to write. Yes, good. Al Kitabu 
Now what I want you to draw your attention to here guys because all of what I'm telling you so far is an introduction to Mudafun wa Mudafun ilayhi Mudafun wa Mudafun ilayhi That's the introduction I'm giving you I'm trying to uh, bring the concept of Mudafun Mudafun ilayhi to your minds Alright Have a look at this what I wrote I wrote Al Kitabu Li Khalidin Why is there only one Dhamma over here? Ahsantum because of Al Sahih Jayin Why are there two Kasras over here? Why are there two Kasras over here? Ah ya Akhi There's a You jumped the gun <laughs> you jumped the gun. Muhammad Zakim, correct. Muhammad Zakim, correct. Masculine name, these are not the answers I'm looking for. I'm looking for, I'm looking for Muhammad Zakim's answer. Because of Lee, Harful Jaff, Jayid Abu Ammar. Because of Harful Jaff. Where is the Harful Jaff? There it is, the Lam, Ahsan Abu Abdullah, Jayid. So now, Al gave us one Dhamma. This Lam, gave us two kasras. Now what I like to, now as we were saying, so what I like to, how I like to explain mudaf and mudaf and the here is to say that the Arabs, generally speaking, and the same goes for any language, they love to say things in the shortest, quickest way possible. Because that's the nature of language. To be brief and direct, get the point across. Not to be long-winded about it. So, in order not to be long-winded about the message here that the vocal belongs to Khalid, the Arab discovered that you could get rid of the Alif and Lam and you could get rid of this Harful Jar and leave everything else exactly as it was and it would serve the same purpose and the same meaning. So rather than saying Al-Kitabu li Khalidin, they would say Kitabu Khalidin Kitabu Khalidin Everyone say Kitabu Khalidin Again Kitabu Khalidin Jayid Once more Kitabu Khalidin Ahsantu Mubarak Allah Hafeekum Okay So Originally Kitabu has got one Dhamma because of because of what guys? originally Kitabu has got one Dhamma because of Alif and Lam Jayid and originally Khalidin has got two Kasras originally because of what guys? because of uh, Li Harful Jar Jayid, Muhammad Saqib, Barakallahu Fiqh Atif, Ahsantum Originally, al -ki uh, ki originally, Kitabu has got one Dhamma because of Alif al Originally, Khalidin has got two Kasras because of the Lam But now, since we crossed out the Alif al As you can see in my writing And since we crossed out the Lam in Li Khalidin Harful Jar in, in, as you can see in my writing We are left with Kitabu Khalidin And you guys read that already three times with me Kitabu Khalidin Okay Now the reason we give for Let me change the color so you can see this clearly The reason we give for Kitabu To have one Dhamma We say Kitab has one Dhamma because it is Mudaf because it is mudaf, mudafun. Okay, and the reason, the reason Khalidin has got two kasras, we say because it is mudafun ilayhi. So the reason why Kitabu has got one dhamma, even though there's no alif and lam. As you can see, we crossed out the elephant lamb. 
It's got no no alif and lam, yet it only has one dhamma. I told you before, if there's a word that has no alif and lam, it should have two dhammas. So why in this case it only has one dhamma? The answer, لِأَنَّهُ mudaf, Because it is mudaf. Mudaf is a state, or the status of that word. Let me close this. Jayyid. Mudaf is the title or a label given to that word in that state, which is a word which used to be al kitabu, which used to be followed by li, harful jar li, showing that this book belongs to somebody or something. So then it has one dhamma. Why? لِأَنَّهُ mudaf. Jayyid. And then you say, Khalidin. Why do you got two kasras? لِأَنَّهُ مُضَافٌ إِلَيْهِ Okay, ya ikhwah. Kitabu Khalidin. This combination of two words together with the first word, with only one dhamma, which used to have two. Uh, upward, only one dhamma, though there's no alif and lam. So you can say, it used to have two dhammas, and now there's only one, but there's no alif and lam. And the second word, which has two kasras, though there's no harf al jar. The reason for that is, mudafun wa mudafun ilayhi. Jayyid? Wallahu a'lam, wa sallallahu wa sallam, ala nabina Muhammadin, wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.